Well, it's week five of the LCS with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Jazuke. There's only one week left. We were just talking about that. Uh, by the way, it's Friday here, the first day of the of the week. So, Jazuke, I mean, how wild is it to you that, you know, we're only five weeks into this, but you have now, you're staring down, you know, just one more week left before we get to playoffs. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I think uh, Peter Dunn actually came last week or two weeks ago for the first time, and the uh, Turtle, our other coach is coming first time tomorrow. <laughs> the season is already over, so it's pretty weird now. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it, it was only one month, right? Overall? Yeah. No, I mean, well, it's been about For a month. For weeks? Yeah. Five weeks? We yeah. started at the beginning of February now, and so it's like the the you know first week of March. So it is quite wild. It is quite yeah, wild. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we got uh, so much less screams and uh, so much less weeks uh, as well of uh, stage practice, I guess, because usually you do four days uh, into two stage matches but now yeah. it was like always three three rest day three three rest day you know so it was like uh re time really fly away well now that you are in this new system and you have been for a while what do you think mm, i think it depends on the uh oh you are as a team if uh, you are doing good then it's is great you know like you only need three days and it's fine but if you need more practice then it's a bit doomed i think and some weeks i, I could feel like we didn't practice some picks or something so we go like not confident but uh, we adapted and uh, i think it's good that we didn't make the call to do like night blocks or something because it would have been uh, i think really terrible yeah like uh, mental wise to support all of that or like don't get a break day and play for days or something like that, you know? I think in the past, uh, why we didn't do it as well? I think it's everyone in the past have done it sometime in the past and just, uh, you know that your mental is gonna drop so hard. Yes. Like like I remember one time before playoffs in Vitality, we we said that we don't do uh, a break day and we all agreed to it, you know? Like it was not a coach decision. Uh, it was coach decision, but we all agreed to it. Yeah. And uh, we we had we gave up our two free days to just play. Then we go into players and we're like, ah, we played so much, but I don't think our mental is good. Yeah. <laughs> gonna do. Yeah. It's yeah. an interesting situation because I do. Yeah, I I think it's kind of fascinating because it's like I think a lot of people realized, okay, we're adding an extra day, but it's not always so simple. A lot of people don't realize, okay, well then that that you're yeah. replacing a practice day with a play day. Uh, yeah. Very fascinating stuff. Now, I think consistency is just better than uh, intensity. Yeah. Overall, like yeah, you could, uh, you can practice. Uh, if I practice every day five games, and you are uh, let's say practicing uh, uh, some day ten, some day three, some day eight, uh, like you, the numbers are like uh, going up and down, right? But you yeah. just practice the same amount every day. You are gonna practice at the end of the year. You are always gonna practice more than the guy that uh, is uh, burned out and everything, you know, because you're right. always co constant with what you're doing. Uh, well, one question I wanted to uh, also ask you is when, when did you find out that you would be playing against Ryoma instead of Demonte? Was it last night whenever it got out or did you, was it kind of a rumor circulating before then? Uh, I think it was yesterday or like, uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Like okay. they were just saying uh, it's not official, but maybe uh, we heard Ryoma is playing screams and uh, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it's funny fine. how the, the rumor well works. Yeah. So, do you, in that situation, do you, Juzuke is the mid laner, feel yeah. like you need to change anything? Are you like, oh, okay, well, he might pull out these other champions, or you have to go look at some of his games in Academy, or do you just, you're like, whatever, mid laner, mid laner? Mm, nah, it's fine. Just uh, NA to Oceana mid laner doesn't change much, <laughs> honestly. Like, yeah, well, uh, I think the Monty was just doing uh, pretty bad in the control mage meta, so they wanted to change him because first with him they had the the playstyle that he only plays around closer, right? And so he plays uh, echo rides and whatever to just get prior and help closer out. But in this meta they can't do it even one time, so they always pick Orianna, Syndra, control mage mid, right? Right. And he was getting solo killed on every every single time. I think, I mean, I know he screams, <laughs> but. Uh, on stage as well, as well. like Perks is looking him level two as LeBlanc and Zazer, it was like, how oh, can you fuck this up, you know? Right. <laughs> so like, uh, I understand why they did the move, for sure. Well, what do you, because a lot of people had a lot of opinions immediately about this. So what do you think of Ryoma after playing against him? Because I think, 
you know, he's an easy target for for people who think it, you know, maybe he was the reason they lost that game. Uh, I think he's. Uh, I mean, honestly, he's better than what people say. Like, I rem- well, now right now I'm not watching any social media, so I don't know what's again their opinion against him. But I remember last year I watched everything and legit everything, Reddit, Twitter, whatever, and uh, they were shitting on him so hard. But yeah. like, uh, I remember he has uh, like uh, good lane and like uh, his team fight is fun. He just got it because uh, he was like. Uh, I think uh, it was the Sunday narrative, right? Every, always putting bad players around Sunday so he can never yeah. do anything. So everyone was sitting on him for that, I guess. But I mean, I can judge from this game also. I was uh, dead both prior. <laughs> Jungle was coming mid all the time. So I didn't really play 1v1. I was more like, uh, I was basically tanking ganks and making my jungle get ahead because I'm basically my, what they do this game. Even if I died two times, the first time was like uh, th- the first time it was my mistake because I can't get out anytime. Yeah. And the second time I'm actually saving impact. If I don't die there, I- impact is getting dove, lose 20 CS and lose tower instant. <laughs> so, like basically this game they were they were all moving mid and uh, for me it was like uh, well I can either choose to stay under my tower and lose platings and get in poke that tower or fight on the wave and. Uh, waste as much time of enemy as possible. And that's what I ended up doing. And uh, in the end, Mundo was like two levels ahead. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it was worth, even if I ta- tactically entered uh, a bit, you know, it's uh, fine to me. I don't so, care too much. So then do you think it was the right decision for 100 Thieves to bring Ryoma in, having played against Demonte and Ryoma? Mm, overall, yeah. I think uh, it was the right decision. Yeah. Just... Uh, yeah, I think uh, when the old meta comes back, or like if they can pull it out, like playing Echo and stuff, then I think they can play back with the Monta, the Galio, TF. Yeah. But uh, nowadays, Control Mage, uh, I think Krayoma is better fit, yeah. Well, other than that, what is your assessment of Evil Geniuses now just a, a week or so out from playoffs? Ah, we're still uh, improving day by day. And uh, as I said before, it's uh, very hard sometimes because there are only three days of practice, right? Yeah. Mm, I think we are fixing mistake by mistake uh, every time, and uh, our, macro is, our macro is getting cleaner. Sometimes we show a really good form of us on stage. Sometimes we are, uh, like, I think this game we are actually didn't watch, but I think we were 3 4 k band, no? Something yeah. like that. I, that's what I felt in game. And then uh, just our team fighting has been really good. So, um, these weeks, so we always can come back no matter what. Like, uh, I think we're in a good state, but for sure we have to improve way more if we want to contest for uh, rank one. Yeah. yeah, I've heard some people refer or imply that like EG is still this ma- major coin flip team and that you are like the coin flip mid laner causing the team to be mm. so coin flip. Do you think that's oh. fair? Is EG very coin flippy? Because sometimes you know you get this great team, and other times you get a team that's going to struggle. Mm, I mean, to me, I don't even know where the narrative comes from that I'm a comfy player. Never had this in Europe, ever in my life. Like there are a lot of players like me, you know. Like there is a two names top of my head is Caps and the Shy, right? I think they're insane players, and uh, sometimes they won't be in the game, sometimes they, they int, and you don't know what, what, what they're doing, right? It's yeah. just about, uh, we're playmakers in the end, and sometimes uh, you just make mistakes, and that's what happens, right? Yeah. It's like you can't uh, avoid it. It's like this game as well. Like, uh, I, I, we, I would only die one time if I play correct, because I will still die for impact that, one, that time on uh, uh, top, on our rates. I will still die for impact there because otherwise he's gonna give up 20 CS on his tower. I don't, I don't really care. And uh, but it's like uh, conflict him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. I think okay. uh, we we have uh, solid five players that are just uh, we know what to do when we are ahead and we know what to do when we are behind. I think just. Uh, Sometimes uh, unlucky things happen, especially I think we feel Daryl fights on uh, a lot on stage, and that's where the 
like the conflict happened, if you want to call it that way, is like we are contesting when maybe Deftly is not arrived uh, from bot or uh, yeah. like uh, we're just taking a bad fight where uh, we can all also trade off on the other side of the map, right? So I think our own problem was just that we don't know when to call off fights. That's that's our problem. And I think we're improving with that uh, daily. And uh, just uh, if we have to give up, we just give up. We don't have to go in. Because I think everyone wants to go in in this team. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, I think last year it was only me that wanted to go in. And now it's like everyone. So it's like, uh, it's just harder now. Because uh, there is there needs to be someone saying, uh, don't do it or don't do that, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but like at the start, it was like... Uh, to change it a bit, it was like no to every play without <laughs> without choosing, right? <laughs> but now it's like more. Uh, uh, I think everyone sees, uh, and uh, you actually uh, decide if it's uh, no or yes. You know. Yeah. Well, hey, Jazuki, we're out of time, unfortunately. But can you? Uh, I don't know if you have anything you want to say to any of the EG fans out there. Uh, well, we're. Uh, what's our score now? Eight five. I think so, yeah, because yeah, seven five going into that game, so you guys yeah. would now be eight and five. Yeah, we're now eight five, and uh, yeah, we're. I, I don't know if you have any chances to take the rank one spot. I think uh, we have to bet on clown nine losing or something, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do our best to pick queens. And uh, anyway, I w also want to apologize for not uh, being active on social media or anything. I just wanted to take some time off the storm for myself just because uh mm, how do i explain i i think uh, last couple of years i've been hated a lot by the community so i just wanted to get out of that a bit and just focus on my play focus on my team play and uh, just show the jizuka that everyone knows yeah so i apologize and uh, i will come back soon when uh, everything is doing that yeah Really good. Well, hey, I completely understand why you'd, you'd be maybe taking a break from social media. It does get wild out there. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Jazuke, for the interview. Yeah. really do appreciate it. And for everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. Hello, it is I, Travis Gafford, speaking to you live from this pre-recorded video, uh, which means it's not live, to tell you about Alienware. Alienware.com says Travis, Travis 10 off is the code that you want to use. Those that, That's in the description of this video, just in case you don't feel like rewinding it again uh, to check them out. But it's very important that you check out that Alienware website because if you don't, then it's harder for me to make these videos because uh, they just decide that everyone has decided to hate me and then it, it all goes away. Everything I built, this media empire, I am. it just hangs on the precipice of you clicking that link and checking their stuff out. I mean, that's a little dramatic. I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's not actually uh, that crazy. But, uh, you know, it's oh, it's 2021. It's all about creating a sense of urgency. You know, like everything has to be urgent. And that's what I'm trying to do with this. Because if I don't, if it's not urgent, then you're going to think something else is urgent because somebody else made a Twitter post about something. And then you'll think, well, that's more urgent than, than the thing Travis is talking about in his outro. And... I just that's kind of where humanity is gone and so it's forced me to do outros like this and um but you know what is urgent 